wants for their television sets? There's two maxes. Um, I mean, George Formby. I'm going to go for Charlie Chester Chris. Because I haven't got a clue. Top two. Yep, Charlie Chester. Cheeky Chappy Charlie Chester. Nice. Cheeky Chappy Charlie Chester. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Final answer. Yeah. You had £32,000. Still got £32,000. You've still got £32,000. And... Thank you very much for this audience. They were very good this audience. Thank you for that. I can tell you that the two words that the whole country over a certain age would be screaming at would be Max Miller. He was very well known as the cheeky chappy. Uh, you've got £32,000. Give him a big hand. Jeremy Fuster goes back to Edwin. £32,000 better off. No calling out, please, audience. Calm down so they can concentrate. Right. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Put these Barbara Taylor Bradford novels in the order they were first published. Okay, so four novels coming up. Want to know the order from when they were first published towards the present day? Here they come. Angel, to be the best, hold the dream, a woman of substance. You can run the audience 200 completely blank faces. Let's see. <laughs> Let's check the right order, then. The right order from the earliest. Uh, Woman of Substance, originally back in 79. Uh, then it was Hold the Dream, that was in 1985. Then it was to be the best in 1988. And then Angel was 1993. That's the right order. Now, let's see how many got it right. All these got it right. Let's find out who was the fastest. Who's got it right? John McCormack was fastest. Yeah! Hey! Five points. Will you calm down? 5.97 seconds, very quick. Are you ready for this? Yes, I am. So, uh, this is John McCormick, a production operator from Ford's in Liverpool. In his life, he sold shoes and cheeseburgers, hopefully not at the same time. <laughs> Up there in the audience is his brother Brendan, hoping to spend John's winnings on a boxer Anfield. Uh, John's hoping to win enough money to give up work, take a media degree, cruise around the Caribbean and play football on Copacabana Beach. And his ideal fantasy would have been to play football with Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I think he probably would. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? Because you, um, you were very excited then, weren't you? Yeah, I am, yeah. Feel all right? Sound, yeah. Fingers crossed? Yeah. OK. Now, in this game, there are just 15 correct answers between John and £1 million. If John gets stuck, as always, there's the lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend and, of course, ask the audience. It's just John's general knowledge against the computer and the bigger the knowledge, the bigger the check. You ready for this? I am indeed. All right, John, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> OK, John, take your time, have a look at question number one. It's worth 100 quid. Sculptures of which animals lie at the base of Nelson's Column in London? Wolves, lions, hippos, rabbits. It's lions, Chris. Lions is the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> John, you've got 100 quid. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 In which TV programme were housemates nominated and evicted every week? Big Brother. Big sister, big mama, big daddy. It's a uh, big brother. Big brother's right answer. You got two hundred pounds. <laughs> okay, you got two hundred pounds. Have a look at question number three. It's worth three hundred. What's the meaning of the French phrase au revoir? Hello, goodbye, please, thank you. It's goodbye, Chris. It's right answer. You got three hundred quid. <laughs> Question number four, for £500. Here it comes, no problem so far. You've got all three lifelines, John, take your time. Which sporting word is used to refer to moving from site to site on the internet? Swimming, surfing, skating, sledging. It's be surfing, Chris. Surfing's right answer, you've got £500. <laughs> OK, get up to number five for me. That's the first point which you know you go home with at least 
Uh, one sum of money, that'll be £1,000. You've got all three lifelines. Have a look at it. It's the last point at which you could go home with nothing. John, I'm sure you won't. Have a look at question number five. Here it is. With which sport is Henry Cooper associated? Football, swimming, boxing, rugby. It's boxing, Chris. Boxing's right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> Feeling good? Yeah, all right. Very calm so far. Let's have a look at question number six. John, it's worth £2,000. Here it comes. What type of food is a kumquat? Vegetable, nut, shellfish, fruit. It's a fruit, Chris. Final answer? Yes. It's good. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> Okay, take your time. Still through lifelines. Question number seven for four thousand pounds. Take your time. Here it is. In which English county is the town of Buxton? Why are you winking at me? Because I know it. Has it come up yet? Yes. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see the others. Derbyshire, Lancashire, Cheshire, South Yorkshire. It's Derbyshire, Chris. It's the county. Final answer. Yes. You know it's right. You got four thousand. <laughs> OK, serious money. You've got seven out of seven so far. This is question eight of 15. Have a look. It's worth £8,000. On a musical score, what does presto mean? Quick, loud, getting quieter, very slowly. Take your time, have a look at it. It's worth £8,000. I'll ask the audience on this one. Again, oh, good. They'll be pleased. OK. On your keypads, everyone, let's get John up to at least £8,000. This is the question. On a musical score, what does presto mean? A, B, C or D? Presto. All vote now. Uh, 85% say quick, 5 say loud, 9 are saying getting quieter, 1% and we'd like to meet them. <laughs> think it means very slowly. Right. John, it's up to you. 85% is high, it's your call. I believe them. You believe them? Yes. Final answer? Yes, definitely. It's good. You've just got £8,000. John, serious money. You've got 8,000. You've still got two lifelines. You can still phone a friend. You've still got a 50-50. Have a look at question number nine of 15. It's worth £16,000. Which of these is a novel by Oliver Goldsmith? The Pastor of York, The Bishop of Barnsley, The Curate of Sheffield, The Vicar of Wakefield? The, vic the Vicar of Wakefield, definitely, Chris. Have you read it? I looked at it this afternoon on the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a book about literature, Chris, and I was looking at it on the way up on the train. And uh, I got to G, to Goldsmith. He's an Irishman, Oliver Goldsmith. <laughs> Sounds like a very easy way to earn 16 grand. That's right. Final answer? Definitely. That is an amazing coincidence. You just won 16,000. <laughs> John, can I be nosy? How long would it take you to earn 16,000? About 16 months, I should imagine. At the moment, you're earning money about the same speed as John Toshak or uh, <laughs> David Beckham does at the moment. Have a look. You've got 16,000. The next question is worth 32,000 pounds. Okay. In which country is Strasbourg, France, Germany, Luxembourg, Austria? Take your time. It's worth 32,000. You would lose 15 if you gave me a wrong answer. I'll take 50-50, please, Chris. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave John the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. You've got to phone a friend if you want it. It's up to you. <sighs> OK. Go on, I'll phone a friend then. Uh, I'll phone... Um, Frank Gill. Oh, Frank? May. Frank Gill, if I may. OK. 30 seconds, still under two possibilities. One of them's worth 32,000, one of them would cost you 15. OK.
Hello. Hello. Hello, Frank. It's John Mack. Oh, John, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, John. Frank? Yes? Hiya. So it's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yes. I've got John McCormick here. Yes. He's on £16,000. My God, he must be the richest man in speed. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I tell you what, with your help, we could make him even richer. It's yeah. The next question is worth 32000 Now, John will have 30 seconds to tell you the question and the two possible answers. One of those is right, one of those is wrong. Yeah. OK, all right, John, your time starts now. Frank, in which country is Strasbourg, Germany or France? In France, isn't it? Yeah, thanks. That's what I thought, Frank. OK. Sound, mate. See you. All the best, John. Take care. Ta da. Bye bye. Bye. What I said, France. Confident? Yeah. 100%. I always get mixed up with Salzburg and Strasbourg. And Salzburg, I think, is in Austria, but Strasbourg's France, I think. And Austria went on the 50 50, yeah. which is good. That's right, yeah. So I'll vote for France. Final answer for yeah. £32,000. Yeah, just hope. It's the right answer. You just won £32,000, John. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm delighted to write you out a cheque for that amount. Feast your eyes on that, John. Have a look at it. You can hold it if you want. 30... You can't wait to get it, can you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> £32,000, all right, that's mate? Mine, hold it. It's hold it. It's yours. You got it. OK? Whatever happens, you go home with that, that's, OK? That's great. How are you feeling now? Good? Oh, yeah. John, have a look at question number 11. It's worth £64,000. Take as long as you need. You might as well play this one. Here it comes, number 11 of 15. Mrs Keppel was the mistress of which king? Charles II, James II, George IV, Edward VII. Well, I know Charles II is Nell Gwynn, so that's not right. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's that one else. Uh, the Georges were Hanover, that's how I got on the show. They were German, so it's Keppels, could be a German name. I don't know this. Uh, Edward VII. Uh, could well be him, he was, he was on the throne for nine years. Could be him, James Stewart, James II. I'm going to have a guess, cos I don't know it. I'm going to go for George IV. The final answer? Yeah, George IV. I don't know the answer. It's a guess. You've got 32,000 guaranteed. You played for 64. So it's going to be George IV? Yes. George IV, my final answer. Oh, John, I so want you to win 64 grand. It's the wrong answer. The wrong answer is actually Edward VII. Right. I tell you what, though, not a bad night's work. Give a big hand, John McCormack goes away with £32,000. Good on, John. A 16-man brawl from the people who bring you this sort of thing every single week. The people who know their wrestling onions bring on a TNA classic tomorrow at 10 past 10 here on Challenge. At 9 tomorrow, over on pick, it's Murder Book as a 30-year-old homicide case gets a perusing.